Good morning, my little nerds. So I'm back. Who the hell am I? I am a board certified dermatologist. My name is Shireen. I'm based in New York City and we do these videos on Saturday mornings where we dive in deep into the world of skincare, beauty, cosmetics, you name it. Because quite frankly, it is an obscure world. It is a shady world. There's a lot of marketing, whether it's false or not, that can be confusing and i'm here to help you help yourself navigate this world so welcome if you have not subscribed liked or followed yet uh please feel free to do so i do read the comments i may not comment on the comments as i have two little kids five and younger so it's a little hectic on saturdays but i do read the comments and i do take notes for following videos so without further ado what are we talking about today we are talking about the four best winning skincare ingredient combinations for your skin because it's the month of february it's the month of love it's the month of all things soulmates except who cares about other people let's talk about soulmates when it comes to your skin and to your products starting with numero un glycolic acid and glycerin because if you are a husk of a corn human being meaning you have really dry dead skin on the surface of your skin and it feels rough but you want to get rid of it without losing the plumpy little kernels underneath the corn husk this is your combination for you this is going to allow you to retain that moisture while having a smooth surface she's a winner she is it she's the moment and i love them together glycolic acid is the smallest alpha hydroxy acid which is an exfoliating acid so it can go in really deep it has been shown that glycolic acid does boost collagen production so that is why i genuinely love glycolic acid because underneath the microscope it is helping my skin further help itself now the combination of that plus Glycerin is a no-brainer because when you're getting rid of your dead skin cells on the surface of your skin, you want to make sure that you're not exposing your skin and allowing water to get lost through your skin in the process. So glycerin is a humectant. It holds on to water in the process, making sure that the dead skin cells are off while holding on to that moisture. So you are a nice, fresh, plump, little mm, grape. You're no longer a prune, you are now a grape in the long run, and that is what you want to be. So let's talk about products that I love. Shameless plug, obviously I have no shame, because I made this product and I spent two and a half years of my life making it, but I do love the flash mask by myself, Pillow Talk Derm. It is a 15% glycolic acid mask with a glycerin base. The other thing that's in here, just FYI, is panthenol. And panthenol is another great one to help hold on to moisture, but we're only talking about two ingredients. So I'm not gonna go in deep. You guys can watch the video below. But love her. I do sleep with it overnight. This is not something I recommend for beginners or if you have sensitive skin, but once a week, I will only use this as my nighttime skincare routine and sleep with it overnight. And I go down to my titties. All right. If you do not want to buy my product, which is fine, no offense taken, I love L'Oreal's 10% glycolic acid, which is also in a glycerin base. I hate their dropper, but I replaced the dropper with a pump, and it's a very nice one because there's a lot of playtime to very little product, and you can get a lot of coverage, and you don't necessarily have to wash this one off. And then the last one that I think is interesting is glycolic acid 7% toning solution by The Ordinary. This is one that got a lot of buzz on TikTok. It's a massive product. It's an interesting product because it's also glycerin based. It is 7%, so it is quite light, but worth looking into as well. Note to the wise, do this at night, not during the day, because you do not want to do this and expose your face and your baby's skin to the sun and get some damage in the process. So winning combination numero deux, que j'adore, is Centella Asiatica and... No, not niacinamide. Nope, not that one either. Zinc, centella and zinc. Why do I love centella asiatica and zinc? Because if you are a tomato that is slightly flaky, all right, you might have seborrheic dermatitis, but if you are in general a tomato that is slightly flaky and you're looking to calm the redness while hydrate your face and really give your skin a nice dewiness, it is a really a winning combination. Um, Centella Asiatica is abundant in skin moisturizing properties. It is in high content of, I'm going to read this so I don't butcher it, pentacyclic triterpenoid glycosides, also known as centelloids, and they help stimulate your own skin's GAGs, also known as glycosaminoglycans, which is really giving your skin the hydration, the dewiness, the plumpiness that you see, i.e. the bounce love it and when you combine this with zinc zinc is an ingredient that is used oftentimes in babies 
diaper butt creams. And why do we use zinc in diaper butt creams? We use zinc in diaper butt creams because it helps to minimize inflammation, irritation, and it has anti-inflammatory properties. So the combination of centella, which reduces redness, and it has been shown in studies, there's actually a study in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine that has shown that it decreases redness, and you marry it to zinc that has naturally anti-inflammatory properties, you're going to win if you are a tomato and if you're a little bit flaky and if you're a little bit dry. So together, I would liken them to a warm hug where basically they wrap the skin in a blanket of hydration and nourishment that helps to reduce redness, calm inflammation, and restore a healthy and radiant complexion at the same time. And who wouldn't love that? So talking about products I love that combine this winning duo, starting with numero one, the Cicaplast Balm B5 by La Roche-Posay. The reason why this baby looks so white and thick when you apply it is because of the zinc, but it does also have that centella component to it that is going to help minimize redness in the long run. And she's a great one, especially when it's dry outside because it is nice and thick, um, but this is a really nice treatment. Now, apologies. If you have a darker skin tone, you might feel there's a little bit of a white shadowing because that's because of the zinc, which is a mineral. Um, but use it at night and see how your skin is the next morning. Now, if you're a super fair, I mean, I, I can, it doesn't really leave that much of a white cast. Sometimes I do see it if there's a flash on, but it goes away pretty fast. So that is La Roche-Posay. Aven has their Cicale Fat, which is also a restorative skin cream that has centella and zinc in it as well. And this one is much thicker, as you can see, compared to the La Roche-Posay. It is really, really pasty. So not exactly the most elegant cream, but if you are looking to help yourself, if you have an irritation, if your skin is red, inflamed, etc., she's a good one to have as a backup in your emergency cabinet. And finalement, if you're looking for something for everyday use for the morning, Cicapair by Dr. Jart is a nice one because of the color of this cream that helps to block the redness on your skin. It acts like a primer and it definitely does have zinc. It is a sunscreen with zinc. As you can see, it is pasty, but over, but it will eventually blend. Now I do have makeup on, but you guys can see that it picks up the color of your skin and blends in. So if you are fair with a lot of underlying redness, this is one that is a nice one for you. So it's a great combination to look into. Going with winning combination number three, we have retinol and salicylic acid. Now this one might seem a little bit confusing, like aren't they kind of the same thing? Isn't it redundant? So many people think retinols are exfoliators on your skin, but the reality is they're not. They're like two sides of a coin and they complement each other beautifully. Retinols are a vitamin A derivative that help to speed up cell turnover while helping you promote collagen production, even out your skin tone, help reduce fine lines, make sure Sure your pores are not clogged and do not stay clogged and that is key whereas salicylic acid is an exfoliating acid and it's great for people who have oily skin it helps to go deep into your pores and basically bulldoze bzzz, all of the stuff inside your pores to eject them and clear out your pores so one is getting everything in going in for a deep clean while the other one is helping resurface and make sure things are not staying stuck while in the process helping with your cell turnover and your fine lines. So they do not do the same thing, but they are beautiful when they are paired together. The only red flag is if you have sensitive skin, because you can have oily skin and acne prone skin and sensitive skin in one. I would approach cautiously marrying both on the same night because you do not want your face to be inflamed in the long run. That is the worst thing you could do for your face. So if you are sensitive, separate the products, don't have them in the single product, and make sure that you do not marry them in one night. And for this reason, I'm gonna talk about the products separately so you guys are gonna be in control in how you marry them. So for retinols, you guys can watch my retinol video below. I'm going to link it. I go through a bunch of different retinols that I really like. You guys can definitely feel free to watch it, but there's a bunch. L'Oreal, SkinCeuticals, Skin Medica, Prescription, A313, uh, Skin. there's a bunch of them. You guys can just click below. For salicylic acid, 
I mean, tried and true is Neutrogena. It's this orange bottle. You guys can find it at any Duane Reed CVS. It has 2% salicylic acid. It's a face wash. Make sure to let it sit on your face for a few minutes before you wash it off. Otherwise, you also have Cetaphil, their gentle, clear, clarifying acne cream cleanser, which is nice for the winter, especially if you are in a very dry environment. It also has salicylic acid in it at 2%. Um, Paula's Choice has more of a quote unquote toner form salicylic acid. It's at 2% as well. So you can put this one on your face as a couple of drops to let it sit on your face without having to wash it off. And this one retails for 30 bucks. And then Jory Skin is um, a salicylic acid primer that you can use underneath makeup during the day. And this one retails for $70. So Definitely, you can combine the salicylic acid as well as the retinol. If you're using this as a primer during the day, I do not recommend using retinol during the day. I recommend saving it for the nighttime. But those are different types of salicylic acid and retinols that you guys can marry yourselves to get the best combination. And last, the last winning combination of the day, the one that takes the cake, the one that is going to keep you looking like a baby fetus longer and better, is vitamin C and sunscreen because alone they're great but together they are phenomenal they are the oprah and gale of skincare one ups the other vitamin c is an antioxidant it is a potent antioxidant that helps to basically minimize free radical damage in your skin help protect your skin from the sun and it also although it does not absorb or reflect uv rays like sunscreen does it regulates inflammation and redness caused by the sun so when you combine vitamin c to a sunscreen the amount of time you need in the sun to get red becomes longer. So you can actually spend more time in the sun and be carefree and not have to worry about, you know, burning or constant reapplication or as often as you would if you did not have the vitamin C. So the combination is synergistic. It makes your sunscreen work better. And I absolutely love them. I love my active seal because there's tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate, which is the ester form of vitamin C. I use that every day underneath my sunscreen. And I am actually curious. I do not want to give you the rest of my favorite vitamin Cs. I want to hear from you below. What are your favorite vitamin Cs? Because I'm going to do a roundup very soon. And I'm curious to see if it has changed. I have an idea based on my patients in my practice, but I'm really curious to see what are your favorite vitamin C's that you are using these days. And for sunscreens, I did a whole video on sunscreens. You guys can watch it below, but quite frankly, whatever works best for your skin, as long as you have some form of vitamin C in the morning and some form of sunscreen in the morning, your face maybe not your ass, but your face will thank you later for it as you get older in life. And with that, I am Dr. Shereen Idris. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm so excited to be back and let me know what you guys want to see next week. But please don't forget to let me know your favorite vitamin C's below. And I will catch you guys later.